Hello, bonjour. I want to show you here a new laptop I have that can do digital painting on Linux on the go and this on the display directly. So uh, not like connecting a tablet to a laptop, but using directly the display. And I will open it right now. And just to show you, uh, I run the system Fedora Linux on KDE Plasma and this is the 38 version and it runs very well. You can also convert this laptop into a tablet and it's a display tablet where with touch and where you can draw on it and the unit is still very thin in my opinion because compared to a real tablet I understand it's a, a little bit thick. And there is something that I like, it's uh, the keyboard that uh, remain locked so all the keys are flat and you can't accidentally press on them in this type of position. About the position, I find it not comfortable to draw or paint on the table flat like that. So I usually take uh, my pencil case, uh, it's something that I have uh, on, the, on my bag usually when I travel, uh, and I just put it behind the display like that. It's stable and uh, it absorbs all the little shock of finger or stylus. Uh, this is very comfortable. About the stylus, uh, this one uh, uses the Vacom AES technology and it's an uh, active electrostatic technology. And you can see it tracks pretty well my movement. This stylus is the Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus and it's a stylus with a battery. It's one you can charge with a USB-C. So let's start Krita so I can show you some little palm rejection and uh, pinch zoom and also uh, rotation. It works sort of well. You can see the button also works well. Let's start a digital painting project and I will continue to speak about this device uh, while painting and sometime I will accelerate some part but I will keep the, the first part into real time speed. Uh, you will find some uh, wobbling <laughs> it's not the glass of the device that wobble, it's just the autofocus of my camera and uh, I don't know, maybe some compression artifact of uh, the video uh, that make the, <laughs> the screen wobble a little bit uh, near to the color selector. It's a glass, it's a very solid and uh, it's, it's really hard to deform it <laughs> with the pressure of the nib. So. I just see that I forgot to speak about the name of the device. Uh, it's a Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga 307T and um, it's a device that is not new. Uh, you can't buy it new now. It's uh, five years old, it come into 2017 and um, I bought it on a second hand market. So I bought it for cheap. 359 euro and it still has a, a very good uh, battery. The case of the computer is well done. You can unscrew and replace the battery. I bought this tablet with my own money, uh, so it's not a sponsored video or hardware by uh, Lenovo or for the stylus by Wacom. It was like 80 euro as far as I remember, but uh, you can see that the total budget for a computer like that where you can just draw uh, everywhere using the, the battery and directly on the, on the screen, uh, this is a, a very good deal. But of course uh, you can't find it new, so you have to hunt for this type of device really carefully. I made a big research to find this type of device. And this is not the first one I test. I bought two other devices and uh, the first one was a Surface Pro 3 uh, from Microsoft. And uh, this one was almost good but the stylus had a lot of lag and I tried many stylus and I spent a lot of money to try to, to, to make it work but it has some terrible uh, hardware problem like uh, too many pixels on the screen. Uh, so the, the performance were always bad. Uh, it was hard to connect to a projector. It was also uh, not easy to repair. You couldn't open it. And in comparison, this uh, tiny Lenovo here, you, you can just unscrew and just replace the battery uh, without uh, having some glue on the way or something like that. And the other one was, um, I, I think it was a Samsung, uh, one of their... Uh, Windows compatible tablet 
and uh, this one had a terrible uh, Linux support so uh, it had no audio and uh, uh, there wasn't a lot of plug also on the device so I had like a single USB-C uh, and I had al always to have some adapter also the, the screen res resolution was was weird I, I, I mean the ratio for painting when you connect your device to a, a projector uh, was wrong and, and you couldn't paint with a projector and this was very very important for for my usage because I want to use this type of um, device for demo when I'm not at home or when I do some uh, some live performances like uh, uh, connecting this to a projector and, and painting virtually on a building. On my research I was really lucky to find the review of Mobile Tech Review uh, it's a channel on uh, YouTube and uh, her video was full of explanation about the stylus lag, about the repairability of uh, the device and about the color space. I uh, really advise uh, you to, to, to watch her video to just find a good device with this type of information, color space and stylus lag. Really, really important. And for the Linux compatibility, um, I was also lucky to find a page on uh, the Arch Linux wiki. But when I received the device, it wasn't a very easy challenge when I started my first Linux distro on it. I couldn't use Wayland, for example, because uh, I couldn't map properly the, the stylus, or I couldn't also uh, calibrate the color of my device, and, and this one comes with uh, some bluish and greenish colors. This is unfortunate because the screen is very good once calibrated properly. You, you can really do some uh, color work. So uh, yes, I had to use uh, uh, X11 and to research how to get a, a proper on-screen uh, keyboard because uh, uh, it's not integrated in the KDE Plasma when you are on X11 and you have to use a little external application named Onboard and I tried to theme it for it to, to look a little bit recent, <laughs> but this software is really old, uh, but it does the job. I also had issue with Krita because Krita had a lot of issue uh, with the default settings. Uh, th there is like settings with four finger or three finger uh, that are set by default and uh, I think they are terrible in my opinion because uh, one uh, did some undo, uh, another one I don't remember, but uh, each time I was putting the palm on the device to just paint, I had this accidental trigger and uh, it was like I was drawing the first line and then the next line was uh, erased and I, I didn't know what happened and I even had no idea this setting were here, so I had to dig very far to know why why my device react like that why i suddenly have uh, my drawing stroke disappearing in the middle of the drawing it, it was really confusing and i had to do a lot of research just to find uh, the little way to to just uh, disable this type of default of the touch there is also another option where you can't paint with the finger and i had to enable this because uh, I wanted to use just the finger just to, to rotate the canvas or to zoom. But the, the interface in general is really not adapted to paint without a keyboard. Only doing a transformation is a pain, uh, a real big pain. Just to find the, the tool option to apply. Uh, it, it's so easy when you have a keyboard just to press enter, but to, to just validate a transform, uh, just to deselect a selection, all these little type of things that I do on the keyboard, oh, and the brush size. Changing the brush size with the little slider on the top, but it's so difficult because you don't have any visual feedback about the size of your brush. Another problem is with the styluses that exist for the Wacom AES. It's the way the buttons are wired inside the styluses. I think it's because uh, the device is for businessmen and they wanted the first button to be like a quick eraser. So you have on the first button, the one that is down to the nib, an eraser by default. But it's not really just a key that you can uh, switch for something else. It's a real eraser. It's like flipping the stylus and erasing. So 
when you press this button, when you hold this button, more exactly, the device switch to an eraser device. And this is not something you can customize easily. It was really a bad surprise to see this switch of device on the first button because this is not how tablet works. This is not like Cintiq, uh, Intuos, and all the Yuan, and all the Gaiomon, and all the XP pen I, I tried. Uh, this is really specific to this type of a laptop. And if you have a, a big usage of the first button of the stylus, just know this. So you will find all this in detail on a, on a blog post. I will probably post it uh, one week after making this video because uh, making this video is already a lot of work. I hope you, you like it. I hope you like it also this uh, digital painting uh, I made. That was hard to record, but that's all. See you later and thank you for all the support for my work, for my webcomic. Thank you very much. Bye bye.